YouTube? It's Rebecca, another quick video. Today, I want to do another first impressions video. Now, I saw this uh, fragrance on a uh, top 10 most complimented, or I can't remember, it was a top 10 list of some, something, but I've never heard of this fragrance before. I believe it was Jeremy Fragrance that did, that put this in his top 10. Um, might have been most complimented, or uh, maybe winter fragrances or something, but it was a top 10 list nonetheless. And I've never heard of this, and it's really inexpensive. And so, you know, dollars and cents um, is pretty much like the. Uh, uh, what my channel is supposed to be about and I have kind of fallen away from that because there's only so many uh, good and cheap fragrances out there you can like try so I actually found this one uh, because of his re uh, review on it or a quick little uh, mention of it so I decided to blind buy it and uh, it was only 20 bucks online 2.5 ounce and I wanted to see if this was worth talking about like he did so um, let's see I'll give you the lowdown on it it is Jacques Faf Pour Homme or Pour Homme. Here's the, still in the package here, just got it in the mail today. It is considered oriental woody, best in the winter and fall time, so it's going to be spicy and probably warm, warm spicy. It's compared to um, uh, Bentley Man, uh, which I've tried Bentley Man Intense, and I really didn't like that one. It was okay, but I really didn't like it too much. See, the top notes of this one are cedar, bergamot, grapefruit, mint, and citruses. Middle notes are rose, raspberry, violet, lavender. Floral notes um, and spices. Base notes are amber, patchouli, tonka bean, olibanum, musk, and woodsy notes. Um, it is an EDT concentration, 80% volume. As I always do, I'm going to open from the bottom. Kind of a cool bottle here. Kind of has a cool cap here. Um, made out of metal, it looks like. Has a some sort of insignia on top. Uh, it says Jacques Fath Paris with a cool little crest on it, if you can see that. Um, bottle looks pretty cool. I kind of like this bottle, actually. Um, for 20 bucks, you get a decent bottle here. Um, it's plastic. It looks metal, but it's not. It's plastic, and that's fine. Um, here's what it looks like without the cap. It looks very old school. Um, let's give this a few sprays on my arm and see what this one's about. See if it's worth any mention. I mean, if it's good, uh, definitely blind, uh, bang for your buck if it's good. So we'll see couple of sprays here good sprayer very good sprayer hmm okay definitely um it's nice it's fruity i do get some of that leathery kind of uh, uh smell from the bentley man intense um it's almost got like a leathery sort of animalic kind of smell to it that's why i didn't like bentley man intense because it had like this weird um weird kind of smell to it that I didn't really enjoy. It's starting to go away on this one. Hmm. This one's nice. Um, I'm getting wafts of it like off my arm and like the sillage is a lot better than, than it close up. Like the smell just coming off like mixed with the air is a lot better than what I'm getting here because it's pretty concentrated on my arm. Hmm. This one's not bad actually. Um, for 20 bucks, I paid 20 bucks for a 2.5 ounce. It was actually 19.99 uh, shipped from eBay. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't bad. I'm sorry. I can't really go into too much detail. I can't really compare it to anything. I do get the Bentley, uh, the Bentley Man uh, comparison, if Bentley Man smells like anything like the Intense, which I'm assuming it does. But this is not, um, this is not bad for 20 bucks. It almost smells like it has like a leathery kind of, um, that's what, that's what I'm getting here. There's no, there's no leather in this, but something in this makes it smell like there's leather in it. Or or it's got like an like an oiliness to it, almost. That's why I said Adam Alec earlier, and that might be that's the same thing I didn't like about Bentley Man Intense. It was like a um, I don't know, it's like a weird um, oily, like a musky kind of civet kind of note. But there's no civet in this, so I don't I don't understand where it comes from. Maybe it's just the um, the notes are opening up slowly. This isn't bad um, for twenty bucks. I think it's worth a try. Um, not trying to start a hype train on this one or anything like that. But if you have an extra twenty bucks laying around, and you want to try something new, this wasn't. This one isn't bad. Again, I'm getting wafts of this. It smells really good. It's 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 gentlemanly. It's mature, um, but it's also fruity and sweet. It's starting to get a little bit uh, deeper now. Um, the spices are starting to warm up quite a bit. Yeah, I'm starting to get some of those uh, the, the the some of the citrus notes in there now. So right now it's like a warm, spicy, citrusy, woody scent. It's almost getting like a Coca-Cola vibe now too. 
which is uh, what's the, what's that Roja that everyone talks about that has like a Coca Cola vibe? Now I can't say it smells like that, but maybe if I can, I haven't smelled it enough. I think it was Creation E. But this is starting to get that not I'm not saying it smells like Creation E. I'm saying it's starting to get that Coca Cola vibe. So I'm starting to get like a vanilla type of Coca Cola smell, which isn't bad. Getting a little powdery now, too. Anyway, so that was Jacques Fath Pour L'Homme. <clears throat> Here's the box with plastic. Here's the bottle. So have you guys tried this one? Let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you've tried it, if you love it, if you hate it. Um, what's the best thing about it? What's the worst thing about it? Um, 20 bucks for a 2.5 ounce. I don't know. I, I think it might be worth a blind buy. Um... If nothing else, you can give it to your dad for Father's Day. Just make sure and open it from the bottom like I did. And you can give it as a gift and nobody will know. So, anyway, so thanks a lot, guys, for watching the videos. Thanks for commenting. I got a couple of other videos that I'm going to put up. I just wanted to do one tonight real quick on this one. It was sitting on my on my table, and I was like, man, I, I want to give this a try. And I have nothing to do right now. It's not super late. So I thought I would uh, make a video real quick for you guys and introduce um, the Jacques Fath Pour Homme for you guys. Uh, Jeremy Fragrance talked about this one and thought I'd give it a try, and I did, and I, I like it. I don't love it, but I like it. Um, it's enough. I like it enough to warrant a $20 purchase, but, um, you know, we'll see. It's just a first impression, so that might change. So, anyway, guys, till the next video, you guys take care.